Madame Butterfly is the tragic Italian opera Madama Butterfly by Giacomo Puccini, adapted into English. It premiered in Milan in 1904, and the orchestral score was published in 1906 by Giulio Ricordi. The libretto, or text of the opera, was written by Luigi Illica and Giuseppe Giacosa. Puccini drew inspiration from David Belasco's play and John Luther Long's story, as well as Pierre Lodi's novel Madame Chrysanthine. These sources, along with Puccini's own work, were influenced by the Japanese artistic movement of 19th century Western Europe. The original version of the opera received a lukewarm reception initially, but Puccini's masterpiece has undergone numerous adaptations since its debut. Some notable adaptations include direct film adaptations of the opera in English and Japanese, such as Fritz Lang's Harakiri and Marion Gerling's Madame Butterfly in the early 20th century. Other adaptations maintain the core story but change the setting from Japan to different colonial locations, like Vietnam in the West End musical adaptation Miss Saigon, or colonial China in David Henry Huang's Broadway musical M. Butterfly. This guide refers to the 1984 edition of the English National Opera Guide 26, edited by Nicholas John and based on the translation by R.H. Elkin. Madame Butterfly's story unfolds in and around the Nagasaki house bought by U.S. Navy Lieutenant Pinkerton in 1904. Goro, a marriage broker, shows Pinkerton around the house, which features sliding screens, and briefly introduces him to three servants, including Suzuki, the servant of his fiancée. As Goro and Pinkerton discuss his fiancée, Butterfly, the U.S. consul, Sharpless, arrives. Pinkerton reveals his plans to marry not only Butterfly, but also other women in different countries. Sharpless advises against this, arguing that Butterfly deserves a faithful husband. Pinkerton assures him that he will eventually settle down with one woman, a fellow American. Butterfly and her friends then make their entrance. She tells Sharpless that her family was once wealthy, but they lost their fortune and the women had to become geishas to survive. During her conversation with Sharpless, Butterfly reveals the unfortunate news of her father's passing and whispers her tender age of 15 to him. As the High Commissioner, Registrar, and Butterfly's family arrive, she proudly displays her possessions to Pinkerton, including a dagger. Goro explains that her father used this very dagger to take his own life. Moved by her newfound faith, Butterfly casts away her autok, religious statues, announcing her conversion to Pinkerton's religion. The couple's marriage is solemnized and recognized. Once Sharpless, the commissioner, and the registrar take their leave, the reception ensues. As Pinkerton raises a toast, Butterfly's uncle, the Bonze, dramatically appears. He exposes Butterfly's religious conversion to all the guests, cursing her for her actions. Pinkerton intervenes, commanding the guests to depart, and Butterfly's family members disown her, storming off with the Bonze. As the room empties, Butterfly tenderly kisses Pinkerton's hand while the distant sound of Suzuki's prayers fills the air. Butterfly requests Suzuki's assistance in preparing for bed, and Pinkerton attentively observes. After Suzuki leaves, Butterfly and Pinkerton engage in a heartfelt conversation about their love and his possessiveness. They gaze at the stars and eventually retire for the night. Three years later, Suzuki and Butterfly discuss Pinkerton's prolonged absence since their wedding day. While Butterfly firmly believes in his eventual return, Suzuki fears that he has abandoned them. With unwavering hope, Butterfly vividly describes the anticipated grandeur of his homecoming. Just then, Goro and Sharpless arrive. Butterfly warmly offers Sharpless a pipe and a cigarette as he attempts to relay news of a letter from Pinkerton. Goro ridicules Butterfly's enduring faith, causing her to face ridicule. Shortly after, Yamadori, Butterfly's wealthy suitor, arrives bearing flowers. Despite Goro's encouragement to seek divorce for abandonment and marry Prince Yamadori, Butterfly steadfastly refuses. After Yamadori departs, Sharpless makes another attempt to read Pinkerton's letter to Butterfly, but she persistently interrupts him. Then, he asks what she would do if Pinkerton didn't return. She says she would work as a geisha or die by suicide. Sharpless persistently encourages Butterfly to consider marrying Yamadori, but she initially instructs Suzuki to escort him out. However, she relents and allows Sharpless to stay. With a heavy heart, 
Butterfly introduces Sharpless to her and Pinkerton's son, revealing the existence of their child. She implores Sharpless to inform Pinkerton about their son's existence, emphasizing that she would rather die than return to her life as a geisha. Overwhelmed by the situation, Sharpless embraces the child, agrees to deliver the message to Pinkerton, and takes his leave. Meanwhile, Suzuki discovers Goro lurking suspiciously outside. When Suzuki informs Butterfly that their child may be mistreated in America, Butterfly confronts Goro, brandishing her dagger as a threat. After Goro departs, Butterfly and Suzuki catch sight of Pinkerton's ship in the harbor. Determined to create a beautiful and welcoming atmosphere, Butterfly instructs Suzuki to gather all the flowers from the garden and scatter them throughout the house. As they painstakingly adorn the space, Butterfly requests Suzuki's assistance in arranging her hair and applying her makeup. She then changes into her wedding attire, full of anticipation for Pinkerton's arrival. Throughout the night, Butterfly, Suzuki, and the baby anxiously await Pinkerton's return, but he fails to appear. In the morning, while Butterfly tends to the child upstairs, Pinkerton and Sharpless finally arrive. Aware of Butterfly's presence, Pinkerton instructs Suzuki not to inform her of his arrival. Suzuki, however, glimpses Pinkerton's new American wife, Kate, in the garden. Sharpless confides in Suzuki that Pinkerton wishes to take their son away and raise him with Kate. The sight of the scattered flowers evokes turmoil within Pinkerton. After giving Sharpless money intended for Butterfly, Pinkerton departs. As Butterfly descends the stairs, she is devastated upon seeing Sharpless accompanied by Kate. She learns that Kate is Pinkerton's new wife and intends to take their son to America. Eventually, Butterfly reluctantly agrees to relinquish her son but adamantly refuses to accept any money from Pinkerton. After Sharpless and Kate depart, Suzuki is hesitant to leave Butterfly alone. Holding her son close, Butterfly explains to him that she is making a sacrifice for his sake. She blindfolds the child, conceals herself behind a screen, and, using her father's dagger, inflicts a mortal wound upon herself. With her dying breath, Butterfly clings to her child. Pinkerton and Sharpless return to retrieve the child, only to witness the tragic sight of Butterfly's lifeless form. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.